Oh, Prezu Favu. Literally nothing in the present other than sadness and lies. Oh my god, that is unbelievable. We've got to repair this. And then she could take a shower. Hello, I'm a veteran mom, and I'm playing the 100 Baby Challenge, and thank you for being here. For a while, I was uploading daily, but I've recently gone back to work since things have changed in my life, and because of that, I'm not able to update daily, but I certainly have not given up on the game, and I have not given up on the Scott family, and I'm very much enjoying it. I'm enjoying it so much, in fact, that as I tried out Discover University, I decided to let one of Ridley's kids attend university. And I did a little offshoot on it, so if you want to see that series, I'm going to post a link down below. And if you like it, maybe I'll do more than the one term that I actually did. But it was a lot of fun to do because that's a really fun expansion pack. In the meantime, back to Ridley and her household. She's home with the babies today. She is trying to get everybody happy because everybody's kind of needy. Let's see if she can get things all organized and back on top of everything so that she can go to work and take care of the babies because she under control. Oh, babies are sleeping and replenishing. No, no, don't wake up. Sleep, sleep. Come on, you don't have any serious needs. I know you want your, na your mommy, but you're tired, so sleep. Oh, Mommy's gonna play with you guys. Dude. She's got to discipline them, but my, ugh, my clicking is on such a delayed reaction. Influence help, but he didn't do it. I don't know who did it. They got away with it. I can ask him to clean it, though. I suspect he did it. He probably just got lucked out. Take a shower. Get yourself a little energized. Let's turn off these romantic auras before they drive you absolutely nuts. Because... Let's face it, face it. She's flirty enough without them. That was quick fat fixing. Why can't I talk? Grab a quick bite while the babies are still sleeping. Actually, maybe you better cook something. Now these babies need potty training and attention from you. So we're gonna wake them up one at a time. And you are going to do your extra credit work. Look who's here. Big sister coming home to visit from uni. Give her a key. You naughty! Molino! Wadisa! Yes, let's have a nice little conversation while all the kids are sleeping in the room. It's so good to catch up. <laughs> Snibara Watanini. She moved out like Loopy. a whole few hours ago. <laughs> uh oh. Gamerish Brie. A crude. Okay, Ridley. Soda. Oh, Moochie Beachy. Time to give this baby some attention. Nibor. Yeah, boy. Oh, that's right. You gotta change the diaper. <laughs> Come on, stop eating. Get going. <laughs> Take care of the baby, and then you can get the toddlers. <laughs> yes, and Lord. There we go. <laughs> what skill are we gonna give our CD? She's high on social and motor. And she's a mo- yeah, well, I guess we'll do motor. She can go out and play on the jungle gym. Oh, it's, it's one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Let's see, she only needs to be up to a skill level. Oh, she's gotta get it up to four before she can advance to an A student. Isn't there something she could do? Any typing practice, a motor skill? And you, my dear, need to do your homework. And you need to get your skill up. Singing. Okay. How are you doing? 
You're not getting any fun, but you are getting attention. How about if mommy leaves you some flashcards or something? Huh. Bay Cage of Frosh. Clunk. Watinini Framic. Ibaha Kipoi. Shilu Jibi. Shilu Jibi. Just let it happen. Who happens? Zimze Quinarb. Yay! Let's see, Donovan. Got halfway through level one potting. Stevie's at level three motor skill. Avery completed her homework. Now, my dear, what is your? You are a B student, but you've got three days at least, so that's good. Nay, <laughs> me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Is she keeping you up? No, don't ask your mom for advice. Go to sleep. What are you doing? You gotta be doing motor skills, baby. Practice your typing. Okay. Let's see. She needs attention and her sleep is almost replenished, so you can wake up Molly. Ha! Philogi. <laughs> he's getting attention, but he's not having any fun. Sleep? Desperately needs to sleep for a little sleep. while, though. He's going to need to eat soon. We might put some. Zarkini. Yasuna. Have any fruit? Mm -hmm. I know. Nice and quiet. Little day Let's here. See. Vinaya <laughs> No, go to sleep. You're tired. Oh my goodness. All of them. Time to feed the baby! A little new boo! Now you just have to come and give attention to our sweet little baby, Molly here, who is in desperate need of potty skills. So, let's start with hugs and kisses and then we'll give her potty. Stevie did it! She did it. She's good. Why don't you do extra credit? And Avery. She is on the verge. She did it! Go eat, baby. Go eat. You did a great job. Sounding good. She's so cute. You got your skill up. You got everything going for you. I'm so proud. Come on, Molly! Aww, oh, she's so close! So close, so close, so close! Don't cry! Yay! Good girl! Take care of the baby first. Serapi! Wadisa! Dawson, I'm sorry. Then she goes. <laughs> Little victory dance. Kids, it's school. Get up. Go to school. A little bit of house cleaning to do. Maybe I'll let the kids do the chores later. Ridley will probably have to work today. Yes. Oh my god, she's got to jump three levels in my Little Molly, little Molly. She's so cute.
Um, congratulations on your recent birthday. Okay. No, thank you. But like, okay. So, Molly desperately needs, aside from potty, thinking skills. So do some, do some flashcards with her. Does this help Molly's? Oh God, it's Winterfest tomorrow. What skills does this help with? Baby, yeah. Go, go. None. Communication. I don't know. No, no, no. <laughs> really needs fun and hygiene, and she's going to sleep tonight. She can now prepare crusted herb salmon. Not that she will, but that's good to know. What does she have to do for work today? Create a trend. Awesome. Oh, she's not taking the food immediately. That's wonderful. <laughs> Usually, even if her hunger bar is full, she snatches that first dish. So fast. <laughs> Show off. She's just showing off now. Uh-huh. Let's see, how many aspiration points? She's got over 3,000. I want to get her... ...the athletic aspiration. Because... What does she need for that? Because... If she gets that, I think it extends her life as an elder. It's gonna be quite a stretch though, but yeah. We can do it. She's, she's always pregnant. All right, all right. We are getting things done, girl. We are replenishing the food supply. We've got the babies taking care of themselves here. Uh -oh. <laughs> Why are you very flirty? Oh, baby. Oh, we have a stinky baby. Okay, do these babies actually eat? No. They were supposed to eat, but they didn't. And then the the game has the nerve to lecture you, telling you the babies they got they got to be taken care of. They can't take care of themselves. It's like, hello. Why are you crying? You want to go to bed? Go to bed. All right. Ridley's caught in a little bit of a back and forth right now. All the babies are wanting her attention. New boo. <laughs> And Fabi, Boo Boo, and Fabi. Mm -hmm. I love those babies. <laughs> those babies are like, oh, and oh. oh. Mommy, like the best thing ever. Oh, looks like grades are up. Where are we at? <gasps> She's an A student already. Oh my god, I'm not even gonna rush her into uh, adulthood. I'm just gonna let her chill and and get some skills. Good for you, baby. Another A student! Him, I'm gonna age up. Stevie is an A- Oh my god, another A student! We can age up Stevie! And we can age up Tanner! Oh my god, both Tanner and Stevie are age students. Okay. They're all A students, they can all age up. Let's see. You know what, I'm not even gonna- I'm, I'm gonna age up Avery and get her- Like, I'm gonna make her work on skills. Maybe get her a little acting jobs. Because, you know, she wants to be an actress. Let's see what we get. I just... The excitement of what they're going to become is always so cool. Like, I wish I could follow almost all of these kids and play them in their own game just to see where their lives go. Young adulthood! Let's see. She is a loner. She loves the outdoors. She wants to be an actress. And... Non-committal. Okay. I can respect that. Oh, sure, Oh. And we get our next uh, victim huh? here. Come back here and put candles on that cake, like I told you. Where'd she go? Oh. Dude, it's your turn. My beautiful boys, coming a beautiful man. Okay, he is cheerful, he is materialistic, and according to my randomizer, he 
has the aspiration of beach life. Okay, there's our boy. Put some candles on that cake. Because your sister's going to go next. I am so sorry you're annoyed. Such a hottie. Here we go. Blow out candles, Stevie. Oh my god. It's offering her to think about furthering her education. <laughs> Let's age up first. Ooh, yabba. <laughs> okay, she is an animal lover and a lone wolf. And her aspiration is... Musical genius. Musical genius. We've got a lot of creative little children here. There we go. Oh. Uh -huh. Hold on. Can't turn. Can't turn. Okay. Wow, she's pretty. Oh my goodness, they're all so gorgeous. If I do say so myself. Let's see. Oh, what's the matter? Oh, she's a spellcaster. Okay. Well, why don't we... First of all, clean this up. And then why don't you go practice your acting and we'll join the acting career. You have a weak bloodline. That's why it's okay, that's why Tanner didn't get the magic stone and everything, even though his dad, Tomox, is a wizard. He doesn't have a strong bloodline. Okay. Okay, actress. Make her become an actress and join Start with everyday extras. No. Ridley goes into her second trimester in three hours. So that means 9 o'clock Tuesday night, she's in the second. 9 o'clock Wednesday night, she's in the third, which means she's going to give birth Thursday night. Our boy Tanner, sorry magic didn't really work out for you, baby, but we got to get you a skill, and I'm trying to decide based on your character traits and stuff. Materialistic. Materialistic. Why don't we let him work on charisma? because that kind of helps in a lot of different areas. Charisma, volume one, diplomacy for dummies. There we go. Stevie, why don't you do magic? Since you apparently have it. Oh God, we gotta age up Dawson. Things just keep coming. Ridley is in desperate need of fun, and uh, one of my friends has got a great you are. Sure, give him my number, Peyton. You know what? We should shake things up a bit. Let's get her out a little while because she's going to need food soon, but let's, let's get her out for just a little while. Oh, she's thinking about babies. Where are you going? I told you to call car to go out. Oh, you have to sit down in a specific chair to do that, of course. Where shall we go? Let's let's go to Strangerville. Let's go to the bar where all the soldiers hang out. Maybe we'll meet some aliens. I want to get all the occult babies. I would love her to get an alien baby, a mermaid baby. We've got a vampire baby. Let's go hang out in Strangerville for a little while, see if we can pick up an alien, or at least meet a few hot guys in uniform. Oh, you gotta wear something nicer than that, sweetie. Yeah. That boo. <laughs> Already flirty. That's good. Text Grim while you're flirty. Maybe he'll come meet you. How's the sexy angel of death doing? <laughs> oh! Oh yeah, 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 yeah! The sandbar. Sure, let's go to the sandbar with Grim. Think maybe we could actually get up to a first kiss with him this time. The, the romance bar is creeping up, but then she doesn't see him for a while and it creeps down. We're trying to get it keep creeping up. Let's get to that first kiss. I think that'll really make you know difference go a long way. I have to cue her up for Grim right away because. You know, he disappears. Like, instantly, if there's a lull in the conversation, he just... Poof! Well, he's happy to see her, at least. So, so. 
Bob Nadeezy. I saw that romance part creep. Oh, come on, Ridley. Woo him. I'm getting so sick of this back and forth with this guy. Wait, it is a guy, right? Are there female grums? Shimmer. Who? Oh. Oh. Don't be awkward. Oh, it's Alien Knight. X the noise on. If he disappears, I'm gonna go hit the that. Alien Knight. Uh, All right, boss? this is not working. Yeah. Oh. Let's go back to friendly. How was your day, Grim? Love your look. Vimpy. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Tell him a joke. Tell him a dirty joke. Holiday. <laughs> Who asked you to? Fetu. Uh, Who asked you? A doing koala gang. Um, really, where are you going? So watch TV. Get out of here. Hey, I'm a youth. to the Mose. No! Don't leave. Don't leave. Where'd she go, girl? Cooperate, please. This is like a long game we're playing here with this guy. It's like, I don't like her. I don't know what he's saying about me, but yeah, hopefully he's saying something like, um, she's not a bad person. Honka Thori. Fetu, who even asked you? Go ahead. Like, you know, you woke up to two people, and you don't even know, one of them being the Grim Reaper, you can in on the conversation, and when you see this guy's trying to get down with him, you just don't back off, you just stand there, watching, making things awkward. The North Nerds, Inja, Inja, Hespa. And just be firm with because obviously the two is too stupid to leave. Ah, uh, Gorba. 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 He's gone. He's gone. Can we get back to flirting now? <laughs> Come on, he modeled for you. He modeled for him. <laughs> Not giving me all that many options. Oh no, okay good, it's a bartender. She's gonna hopefully go to work instead of try to hold a conversation with us. Uh -huh. Why are all my options limited? She's flirty, he's very flirty. Oh. Ah! Don't leave! Ah, he left. Alright. Let's go back to Alien Night. All right, it's alien night. There is my son Dodger. All right, where's the aliens at? Uh, there's a llama. And that's my daughter. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're not having fun. Socialize, make friends, dance. Why are you not having fun? There are no aliens here. It's alien night. And there are no aliens. I okay. She left. I thought if who's making that noise? I thought if if there were anywhere you can meet aliens, it would be stranger though. Let's see. All the military personnel are female. It's like adding insult to injury. <laughs> Where are the aliens at? <gasps> female alien. Damn it! Ganabi. <laughs> <laughs> nice mustache. Let's see. You single? You know, there's something about a man in uniform. Okay. Okay. Not a fan of the mustache, but 
There's only one alien in all of Strangerville hanging out at the bar on alien night? And this is a guy? Okay. Oh my god, he is angry as hell looking. Let's see if we can meet him. Cheerful introduction. Maybe she can help soothe him or something. Oh, okay. Is that... He's, he's, he's in a bad mood, but apparently he can smile. You know, he's not a terrible person. Yasef. Pimbus. Jack. Ask about his day. Is this seat taken? <laughs> Let's see, what does he do for a living? Pick a, pick a seat, Ridley. It's not musical chairs. Field assistant at Observe to Concern Foundation. Oh wow, they got chummy fast. Who are you talking to? Oh, she's been out all night. Her son is not even up. Okay. Bye. All right, maybe it's time for the home. Unfortunately, we didn't meet an alien guy. Ace. His name is Ace. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> well, he kind of went for it. What are you doing? <laughs> so, so. Sabine, Sacquenario, Alright, you need to go home before you get to the point where you're gonna pass out, Ridley. But at least you got to meet a couple of guys. Uh, Yefana? Zitorb. Huh. Browse web. Go home. <laughs> that right, stop browsing the stop standing around browsing the web. You were just on your way home. What happened? There you go. What are you doing there? Oh, this baby needs everything. This baby needs everything, but mostly they need to eat because they are starving. Why don't they go to daycare when teens are home? I know, but still, I still want the option to send them to daycare instead of the teens taking care of them. What kind of needs do my bubblers have? What? Oh, it's Winterfest. I don't somehow my game reset and all these new sound effects and whatnot came in and all my games are acting like I never played them before. Oh, live and go to college would be awesome, but I don't think that's happening. I just realized we never took pictures of everybody. Um... Avery is the last one we took a picture of. We never took a picture of Tanner, and we never took a picture of Stevie. You know what I'm gonna have? Let's have Stevie take a picture of Tanner, and Tanner take a picture of Stevie. Okay, that's not gonna do. Let's do something a little bit more pleasant. She's very thoughtful. Oh, I like that. I want to get the Mellis children, but as long as their children are teens, I can live with that. No, why did you bust the dollhouse? Ah! Let's get our Winter's Fest stuff up real quick. Put out the presents. Okay, we're all decorated. She can add a bunch of presents. Let's see. Oh, how cute. 
I don't think so, dude, but I love that. Oh, he, he's real good at the funny shots. <laughs> oh, I like that one. There we go. Our collection of children. Portraits is growing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then we have 13, 14, 15, and she is pregnant with number 16. Perfect. All right. Why is everybody looking so glum? Ridley, you're nice and replenished, aren't you? My sad little Molly needs attention. You want to go to a lounge on Winterfest? No, what is wrong with you, dude? <laughs> Come on, Ridley, cook that grand meal. Let's make a nice ham dinner. Turkey for Harvest Fest, ham for Winterfest. Just like in my family. Okay, who left eggs out? <laughs> my god she is feeling flirty yes oh my god is that travis oh my god he got so old okay oh she's flirty too do i have the things on no the emotional auras are off this is just ridley's children no 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 don't eat don't eat, don't eat, don't eat, don't eat. We're gonna have a grand meal today, don't eat. Tucker Scott wants to know if I want to meet him someplace again. No, Tucker, you're coming over later, it's Winterfest, TV. No, 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 no. You're not eating the garlic noodles. She's being stubborn as hell. Why don't you go and make a nice salad for Winterfest? All right. Oh, no, 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 you, oh, you stinky bitch. How dare you? Stop trying to take the food. Oh, no, 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 no. Another one. Come on. Ah, oh, crap. What did he take? Turning the fridge around. My god, is there no way that they can make Sims wait for a dinner? Like, you don't want them to have a big family dinner when they're all gonna be full because they've been eating all day, so you wait for them to get hungry so they can sit down together, but then they all start individually, independently, raiding the fridge. Can't they make a little check thing somewhere saying, don't go for food unless I tell you? You're not eating that. Oh, she grabbed salad again. Ah! Stay away from the food. Okay, guys? Just stay away from the food. Okay. Now we can call over and have a big holiday dinner. Should we have it as an event? Uh, just make it a house party. It's not going to be a gold event anyway. We're just trying to get everybody over here. So, let's see. Our hosts. And invited will be the family. Our grandchildren! Where's Olivia? We have to have Chance and Olivia. Alright, Finley, Max, Marley, Peyton, Andy in this llama costume, Dodger, Tucker, Mickey, Chance, Tra no, not Travis. You're a Scott, but you're the wrong kind of Scott. Ah, oh, Caleb, it's so nice to see one of the baby daddies not getting all old and gray and wrinkled. I can't believe Olivia is not on the list. All right, should we should we invite a potential baby daddy? Who is that one guy, the bartender guy? Yeah, Clive. Clive Moya. Everybody's coming. Here comes Chance. Oh, where are the babies? Where are the babies? There they come, toddling along. The grandbaby's here! 
Pandalay. Let's see how oh, the other grandchilds. Felina's bumzoy. What is broken? Hold on. Oh, the stove. Oh my god. Jackson looks so much like Chance. What the heck is that? Oh, it's a cookie. That is a seriously irritating noise. Let's just replace the damn stove. Thank you. Well, there's no place like home for the holidays. Damn it. My god, how is Max doing? He has not been visiting. Oh, I'm sorry. I made everybody stand up because of the stupid rug. Oh my god, she's so flirty. Oh, did Clive come? Yes. Dawson. Oh, he aged up. Uh, what is his? He is wild. Oh my god, he's beautiful. Look at him. He looks so much like Max. With the blue eyes and the hair and everything. Okay. Ridley. <laughs> you need to get to your baby, Ridley. <laughs> Let's see. There you go. He's shooting up there. She's getting better and better at teaching them how to talk. She is now going into third trimester. So she needs to have Clive over here at 9 o'clock tomorrow night. <laughs> Pick up this baby. God, she's given she's autonomously given a bath to her baby. That is fantastic. So Dawson got a banana bank heist model now. Don't know what that is. All her kids are always thinking of babies. Like, she just got them all very family oriented. <laughs> Give me a present. Give me a present, Santa Claus. Oh, Prezu Favu. What are they getting? Let's see. A crisper. It's a crisper. Well, she loved whatever she got. The incin- Oh, a grill! Awesome! Literally nothing in the present other than sadness and lies. Oh my god! That is unbelievable! Okay, we are running kind of long, so I guess I'm going to put an end to this here and pick it up the next time. Because we still have some very needy babies, but they had a pretty nice winter fest. They got some cool gifts, and most importantly, Ridley is pregnant, and she's going to pop soon. And she's going to have a new baby daddy coming over for baby number 17. So I will see you soon, and don't forget to check out the description box below for the official 100 Baby Challenge rules links to my Sims articles, and my Tumblr page. And don't forget to check out, if you're interested, my Discover University with Ridley's daughter, Marley, going off to college. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. And in the meantime, have fun simming.